Hey folks, in this video we're going to show you how to create a standalone Angular NX workspace. Standalone applications, not to be confused with Angular standalone components, are a new feature of NX that we added in 15.3. NX is typically a tool used for mono repos, but our standalone application feature allows you to create an NX workspace to house a single Angular application. To create a standalone Angular project, we'll run the command npx create NX workspace at latest. And when prompted, we'll select standalone Angular. And when we finish answering the remaining questions, we'll have created our workspace. In the rest of this video, we'll show you how to take advantage of the core features of NX in your standalone project, including code generation, the project graph, task running, and task pipelines. We'll take a look at code generation first, and we've actually already seen NX code generation in action when we ran the command to first create our repo. For our example, we'll want to add two libraries to our project, a cart library for a cart route that we'll add later, and then a UI library we'll use to house our presentational components. Since we may want to export and reuse our presentational components in other projects, we'll make this lib buildable. And we'll use nx to generate these two libraries using the commands npx nxg for generate lib cart and npx nxg lib ui dash dash buildable. For both of these, we'll use the at narwhal slash angular library generator. After this, we'll use nx to create a shop component for us in our store application. Remember, this is our standalone application. And to do so, we'll use the command npx nxg c shop dash dash project equals store. We'll add some components to our cart and UI projects as well using the command npx nxg c cart dash dash project equals cart dash dash export and npx gc banner dash dash project equals ui dash dash export. Now that we've created a few libraries, we can visualize our project graph by running the command npx nx graph. And we can see our three nodes of our graph, our store app, our cart lib, and our UI lib. We can also see that there are currently no edges between these nodes. But next I'm going to add some changes to our workspace. And as I do, we'll see that the project graph above me will update in real time. We'll start by adding routing to our app by adding the router module to our imports in our app.module.ts file. And we'll add the root route to our shop component we created before. Next we can import our cart module and add its exported cart component to our cart route. As we hit save here we can see a new edge has been formed in our graph between our cart and store projects where store now depends on cart. Now let's import the UI module to our app module and we'll use our banner component in our shop component. Notice again as we hit save a new edge of our graph is added between store and UI. We also want that same banner in our cart component so we'll import the UI module to our carts module file and we'll use it in our cart component as well. And again, as we hit save, we'll see our graph updates to show a new edge between cart and UI. The visualization here of dependencies is a helpful tool for understanding how the different modules of a project interact. NX also uses this information to help automate task pipelines, as we'll see later in this video. But first, let's jump into task running. When we talk about task running, we're talking about tasks like building an application, serving an application, running our unit tests, linting our code, and running our end-to-end -end tests. Tasks are also defined in the targets property of project.json files contained in each project. Looking at our UI slash project.json file, we can see that there are three tasks that were created for us, lint, build, and test. We can run the test target with the command npx nx test UI. This will run the listed executor with the provided options. We can think of executors as an NX version of Angular builders. They define tasks for our projects and they provide options as a way of parameterizing these executors. To see a list of all the options available to us, we can run the command npx nx test UI dash dash help. We can then add these options to our project JSON file. For instance, I'll add watch true to the options of our test target and now when we run npx nx test UI, our tests will run in watch mode. If we back out the chains, we can see that we can also add the dash dash watch option here at the command line level to use these options in the terminal as well. Notice too that if we ever run the same task twice, nx will use its built-in task caching to make the task happen nearly instantly. In addition, this will replay any changes to your file system based on the outputs property of our target. Now that we know how to run tasks, let's use it to run a build on our store application. To do this, we can run npx nx build. Notice that before we start building our store application, NX will run all the tasks that our build depends on before running the task in question. For a build to our store application, we had one dependent task, which was the build task of the UI library. 
and X was able to determine dependent tasks using the project graph we looked at earlier in this video, along with the configuration that was generated for us in the nx.json file. This line here signifies that every build target depends on the build of all dependent targets as signified by the care character. We can see here too that NX caching is intelligent enough that if we were to run npx nx build UI first before running the build on our store, that it will retrieve the UI's build from the cache instead of actually building it when it's time to build our store. Notice too that we don't actually build our cart in this process. This is because there is no build target listed in the cart slash project.json file. We could add a build target manually to this file using the command property to tell NX what to do for our cart's build task if we wanted. Here we can have it echo skipping build on cart library. Now if we run npx nx build to build our store application again, we can see NX is coordinating and ordering these builds so that the UI will build first and then we'll run the command for our cart library's build target, and finally we'll run build on our store app. We can see that if we were to remove the dependency between cart and UI by removing the banner from the cart component and the UI module from the cart module, our project graph would change automatically, and therefore our task pipeline would also change automatically to allow the UI and cart build tasks to run parallel. This shows the real power of NX task pipelines, as between the project graph and the task configurations, we can be sure that our pipeline will remain fully optimized as our workspace continues to grow, without us ever having to manually configure this pipeline. And as of NX 15.3, you can now fully visualize the task graph using the NX graph tool. Yuri actually did a whole video on this tool recently, and I highly recommend checking out that video next.